Yeah, Heroes Battle Grand Prix has arrived. And it's a weird format where you get to have leader skills so your leaders actually do things instead of being cosmetics. Um, these are the way the Grand Prix works, they offer you four classes and you can pick your class and then you pick your leader, I guess. Now, I haven't touched this format at all, so I have no idea what's good, what's bad, how the decks play. So I'm just gonna go in here blind and <laughs> I guess we'll record this and see how it goes. So, um, I know roughly what each deck like is meant to do. I don't know what they actually do or like how they work. But um, of all of these, I think the one I'm most interested in is going to be Mizuchi. I mean, you got to play Jerry, right? We got to try out Jerry. So it looks like she's Highlander with Jerry. Her skills, you can draw a card, you can discard a card to deal 2 damage, or you can put Tidal Surge. And then you can give yourself Tidal Surge at the start turn. Notably, the Tidal Surge can stack, so even if you have Tidal Surge, she can give you another one. So that's worth noting, I guess. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and pick Mizuchi here and see how this goes. So we are here in our first uh, match of uh, Heroes Battle. Um, I'm not really sure how to mulligan, but I think I want to find Mirabane. So we're just gonna go ahead and full, full send it. Fafnir? Ermai? Ermai's Irma, ramp. This is deal 5 damage that no duplicates, draw a card, recover 2 evil points, recover 2 play 1. This is, this is an interesting card. I believe the only duplicates in this deck are Mirabane, so um, I need to find Mirabane before this works. I can of course use these. Probably just gonna draw cards right at this point, there's nothing else for me to do here. Got the Dragon Breeder and the Drazael. Um, let's just go ahead and send the Drazael and try to find uh, Mirabane. It's not Mirabane. And then I guess we just pick card draw. Not really any reason to do this right. A well, Kyrie here, that's not Mirabane, unfortunately. I feel like it should be the goal of just going Tidal Search as early as possible, and I feel like that should be fine. So there's the trees from them, that makes sense. And they do get the points from the tree. Get a Sunderclaw here, we don't really have anything to do, honestly. I feel like we just draw a card again. Uh. We don't overdraw if we just pick card draw here, so yeah, I think card draw is the way to go here. I can play this? Oh, it's random, so I can play this. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and just, I guess, pick card draw again. Just pass. We do pick up the Mirror Bane here, which is great. It's interesting that you can discard cards to deal damage and do all that for um Well you can you can get points for doing it. Well we can't clear the Gina unfortunately, so that's a bit of a shame here. You can start with the Ayla Ayla, I guess. Getting the ramp is valuable. And we will overdraw if we just pick draw here, so there's not really any reason to pick the draw here. So we're gonna probably go ahead and try and discard something here. It won't clear the Gina, but it will at least deal damage. It's just called Mizuchi's ultimate. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We kind of want Irma, I think. We have plenty of card draw. I don't really see a need for Kyrie, honestly. Dragon Breeder doesn't seem that useful either, though. Maybe we just toss the Dragon Breeder. They're probably going to ignore the Ayala here, but that's fine for us. We don't really care. Ayla? Just Ayla. I doubt they're gonna. Well, they can clear it if they want. We do get the play points if they clear it, which is good for us, though. Oh, so we have Mirabane now in hand. I believe there's. This is where I wish I could see the full deck list. Oh, wait, well, this thing will highlight if it's active, right? So it do clear the Ayla for us, so we do get extra PP now, which is good for our next turn. Do hit us in the face as well. Is this active? I wasn't paying attention. I guess maybe I need to get rid of my last Mirabane before it's active. Assuming there's three Mirabanes in this deck, which I guess is entirely possible. So it is not active, I think, because it'll probably get the border if it's active. That's what I would assume. Um, 
Let's let's uh, use Lowly Dragon to clear here. I think it's fine. Go ahead and stab the Irma as well to ramp. We definitely can't let this uh, Desert Wanderer live because we can give them value if it lives. And then, if we go for Mizuchi's uh, ultimate here, I think it makes the most sense. And then this will uh, deal one damage to all enemy followers, subtract one from the cost of all cards in hand, heal my all allies, and then draw a card. So, probably just do this. I think the important point is to get the subtraction, right? And then uh, I will overdraw next turn, so I should probably use this now. What do we not need? Uh, second advent of omens is PPG. Let's toss the Kiri. I think Kiri is pretty useless. So Moon is fine. It's hard to reach 10 PP though. Yeah, I should be fine. So there's the crystal shard from them. Kind of expected that. Uh, the problem with crystal shard is that uh, mirror brain trades evenly into it. So if only there was a way to uh, clear without clearing out mirror brain. She does get destruction with immunity, so that's a problem there. I probably even use this once. Oh well. Yeah, we're just gonna try and play the mirror bane here. I think. In the Terran Defender, it will get Storm. It can hit us in the face. They haven't gotten... Well, they get Baleon next turn, I guess. Yeah, they do get Baleon next turn, so I have to watch out for that. Unfortunately, Mirror Bane doesn't heal. Your testimony destroys a follower, so uh, it doesn't work against the uh, Crystal Shard Dragon Newt. Got the Zooey here. There's not really any reason to play the Zooey, I don't think. Let's go for Mirror Bane. And go ahead and evolve him. We don't overdraw anything, alright. Evolve him, that's fine. Oh, he does get 7 7, so I can hit over the Crystal Shard. Uh, we can go ahead and hit this. Then we use second advent here and this will uh, give us play points back so we can cheat PP here. Um, Sunderclaw does 4 and then this will be at 4. So this actually does work. So we can go Sunderclaw here. Then we can trade the Sunderclaw. Then we can play the uh, Tidal Search here actually. That will make our card super cheap. Uh, we do overdraw this turn, so we want to discard something and get a bit of damage out of it, I guess. Um, what do I not need here? Maybe I just don't need Infernal Meteor. Dragon Hand Spur is best used next turn, I think, to power up my next uh, Dewey. I mean my next uh my next uh, Mizuchi spell thing. So there's the Baleon, they do get the Baleon here. Mm, it's a bit hard to find. What does Urns do? I don't even know what this does. Activates one of the following effects. As well at least play your start eight defense to your leader, good boy. And he evolves, she gets it gets storm. Okay? Interesting. She can randomly just evolve itself, that's pretty funny. There is the Baleon for them. Mm. Do we cost a lot, I guess. Well, it's fine. I think I'm gonna look to play fast near this turn. We might also want to try to play Urns, although that seems pretty hard. Oh, we can start with Masamune and Dragon Handsbar. I think that should be pretty safe. Don't really see uh 
situation where that wouldn't make sense. Then we can use those to power up the uh, Mizuchi's thing, and then we can use it to discount the cards in our hand. That should help. Uh, let's see here. Opponent has played... They haven't played the spell yet, so they do have the spell. Um, let's see... We can start with Handspur, I think. Rhyme is okay. I mean, it does ramp us, although getting the 9 PP isn't particularly super useful, I don't think. Maybe we just do it anyway. Uh, let's pick the class, I guess. Uh, we can put the Masamune as well. Uh, I guess we go for a Tidal Surge. Too long. Is too long in this? Ah. I don't want to save this for next turn as well. I'm just slam Fafnir, honestly. Uh, the Master Luna does have a damage use, so it does get protected. And then... Oh, guy Worm, how much... I can't actually see how much this is discounted by, by the way. Um, let's just discard something. And then... Pass. Evolve the Fafnir for fun. Make it more annoying. Hopefully we don't die this turn. I'm pretty sure I just win if I live this turn, but that's a big if. <laughs> Probably should have drawn, actually. This costs 7. Oh, I think I might be dead. Uh, yeah, I should be dead. Maybe I should have picked the stomp and destroyed the tree. <laughs> That'll be funny. Yeah, I'm just dead, I'm pretty sure. Right? Because they have the uh they have three copies of the Balan spell. I think at 20, they should be at 20, right? Yeah, they are at 20, I'm just dead. Right? This has already done the damage. Am I still alive? This is 11 plus 2, I'm still I live on one apparently. Unless they have one more damage with like another one of these uh, Neteran defenders, and I will be dead. Oh, Dragon Breeder also kills me. Oh, I tried. Wait, huh? Wait, did they not have enough of the spells? That's weird. I'm pretty sure I should have lethal. Question mark. To do that first. Uh, I kind of want to try to get the. No, I have. Oh, everything I have costs so much. Could do this. That doesn't do enough damage yet. Maybe I go Dragon Queen's Castle. I can play Zui actually. That will. Uh, help me live another turn. I guess that's what I do. Uh. Well, you too. I guess this is fine. Yes. Just play Zui. If I do this, put them at one. Did I miss lethal? Maybe I miss lethal somewhere. Might be possible I just miss lethal. But Zui makes me unable to die, so. 
Uh, they have to deal with that, I guess. This can be evolved manually, right? Right. And mirror beans. Like, where is it? Uh, deals three damage to the leader if an ally falls that costs six point wins. Okay, so earns will be that, I guess. That's fine with me. They have three cards left in deck. They might just kill themselves before I even get to kill them. Wait, they're actually gonna die. Wait, they're actually just gonna die. Just all guy worm. The all guy is six. If I play Dragon Queen All Guy Worm, I have 12 plus 3 15 damage. I guess that's fine. Oh, they just killed themselves. <laughs> if I pop this Gina, they just die because they just die from drawing cards. Wait, did they? <laughs> they fell out their board so that they don't destroy the tree so they don't draw a card. That's pretty funny. Oh, we can just go Dragon Queens into All Guide Worm and that should be lethal. So yeah, pretty sick deck. The Zui really saved me there, but yeah. Uh, let's move on to the next game, I guess. So we are here for our next game. It's against Nexus. Nexus is that weird, like, shadow thing that I don't really understand. Um, Based on my understanding of this game, we just look for ramp. So we're just going to toss everything. We do pick up some ramp cards here. And Goddess, unfortunately, doesn't ramp. Uh, Reggie can ramp if we draw something to buff uh, her with, but I'll see if that ever happens. So apparently on the first turn you don't actually get to use that effect, so I didn't know that, so that is something I guess. Um, I don't really see a reason to play the All Guide Worm here. To, it doesn't. It draws like one card, right? So it reduces my hand size. Well, actually we can make it top of our hand size anyway, I think it's fine. Try to find ramp. Oh, we actually pick up Dragon Breather here, we can use that. To uh, ramp with the Reggie. The young Treadmaster from them. They can use this to destroy their own Treadmaster. And that will summon a shadow if they want to do that. I guess they don't. Uh, I guess we can just... Hmm. Just on each of your turns. So if I destroy it on their turn, it doesn't uh, work worth noting. Um, let's put the Zooey back in the deck. I don't really think there's any reason to use the Zooey right now. Got the Aela, that's fine. Um, I've already wanted these cards, I might just use it for card draw. Yeah, let's just pick out some card draw here and just pass. Aela is probably the most difficult uh, Ram card to get value out of since she's an actual follower, so we'll have to look into that, I guess. That's another young trend master from them. They can just play one puppet here and that will also help them summon a soldier. Oh, they can just use it to ping my face as well. I guess they are just using it to ping my face. I'm not sure why they're not using it to go, go try to go face, but I mean, it's good for me, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and play the Aya. Just draw a card. We got the mirror bane, that's fine. We can use this on our evil turn definitely, so let's look into that. Uh Tidal Search should be active on our evil turn as well, so that's pretty good. And this will give them the Shadow Soldier. They forgot to activate the effect though, so they won't have storm. Or maybe they just didn't want the storm on it. Hard to say. We should probably keep this uh, Water Worm's Blessing for card draw and healing later on, so we might just ramp with Reggie. We don't actually need that much ramp anyway. Uh, we just ramp one. We don't even need to ramp to play Mirabane, but I think to be safe, let's just try to ramp one more time with Reggie. I, they can actually destroy the Brown of the Morning Star here with this card. I think you're supposed to do that, actually. I think I actually meant to destroy Brown of the Morning Star. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's use this to clear a follower. 
reduce the uh, damage coming to our face, then we can use Reggie to heal. We can either use Reggie to ramp or we can use Water Worms to ramp as well. Both work. But Water Worm will heal me in the late game. But I feel like I should go with Reggie here. Go ahead and get our ramp out of that. And then, um. Just draw a card, I think. It's looking pretty thin. We are very low. Well, not very low, we're at 19. We are a bit low, though. That's probably fine. What the order does this happen? So, it summons the puppet before the Shadow Soldier, so it gets banished. That's worth noting. We're actually completely fine here. Right, ally follower. Mix. Uh, I'm not sure about the order of the way they're playing cards here, but I mean, it's good for me, so I'm not complaining, I guess. Bridge spend them all. Let's open with Mirabane here. Let's evolve him to pick up his spell. And I think we're actually just gonna go ahead and pick up the Mizuji spell here by hold it and use it next turn instead of this turn. Well, actually, now I can do it now to subtract cost of cards in my hand. That might be more valuable. That's probably more valuable. Let's just, let's just do that. Ping them for a bit of damage in the face. Next time we can look for a big Mizuji turn, I think. I have water worms to draw. Great testimony will uh destroy a fallen deal three damage to the leader. That actually does leader damage as well. That's pretty that's pretty sick. How many followers destroy my opponent at? There are 10 followers destroyed now. This works when it's at 15. You yeah, definitely gotta keep track of those things. Not sure why they haven't used the last uh not sure why they haven't used this last effect yet. Vicious Puppeteer is fine. There's Stood. Are they gonna use the effect yet? Do they just like not want to deal damage to my face? They do evolve the Absolute Chastity here which will draw down a bunch of cards. They should play a Puppet before that though. I guess my opponent doesn't really understand how the deck works. I mean, as, again, that's beneficial to me so I'm not really complaining. And they're not using this, they're just using the damage. Dragon Rearing will buff a follower, that's fine. We can go ahead and use the uh, Grand Testimony first. Go ahead and draw some cards. This will, uh... Which one do I want? Uh, I can do this first, I think. I can do this as well. This will uh, give me another proc of uh, discount, which I think is pretty good. Or I could go Forte Miriam here as also an option. Or I could go Dragon Queens. I think I like Dragon Queens here, so we're gonna go do this first. Let me just go ahead and play Dragon Queens, so we can use that next turn. And we are going to... Uh, he saved this for next turn. We are going to overdraw, so... Wait, well, we have 7 in hand now, so we will overdraw if we pick the uh, draw. So we're just going to hit this card, card here. What do we not need? I think... This is probably pretty useless. Let's get out that. We don't do any face damage here because Forte and Miriam. I mean, because... Uh, We might be able to get lethal next turn. 14 and Miriam 7, 14. Yeah, I think we can just kill the next turn, so that's good. We just need. Yeah, this should be lethal. Pretty sure. Unless they heal a ton. 14 and Miriam hits twice. We can give them plus 2, plus 2 with the dragon rearing here. Okay. 
we have to watch out for this actually. If we accidentally clear this, we have to make sure we don't accidentally clear it, I guess, is the point. Or else we will get a debuff on Forte Mirror, which might stop our lethal. And they do finally do the storm. <laughs> it's about time, really. So Forte Mirror does cost 6 originally, so Mirror Bane does work with them. Um, let's do math here. So Forte Mirror will be 7. Uh, 6. It's an effective 7. I think this should be... Yeah, this should handily be lethal, actually. So we start with Forte and Mirren. Go ahead and evolve it. Oh, we use Dragon's Rear Ring. Now we need to play one more card so that we can get this to 3. Let's just go ahead and use Lowly Dragon here. Oh, we got a buff. We can use that to buff. Oh, it doesn't really do anything. Go ahead and use the Tidal Surge here. Hit them in the face twice. And we just pass and Mirabane will finish them off. Yeah, nice clean game. Let's move on to the next one. Though so we are in our last... Not last, I guess. But third game here, we're going against Verdelia. Got some ramp, we're just going to hit the MP. So uh, we don't really know what they are running at this point. Well, maybe you know, but I don't. Let's see what the effect is here. Um, it looks like it's evil. So I guess that's a thing. We're just gonna pass here. And... I don't actually know what Snow... I think Snow... Uh, if I remember correctly, Snow will guarantee Mirabane, so I guess that's good for us. Go ahead and look out for that, I guess. Like they are thinking about their turn, so we can just uh, fill out, I guess. What they do? We play Verdelia Sting. This card, the copy, so it's just like a uh, mulligan. Okay, understood. Understood. Um, would I be better off just ramping here? I mean, there's no re there's no like pressing need to go for Ver uh, Mirabane here, right? Even if I draw Mirabane now, I can't do anything with it. Go ahead and draw a card here. Be fine. It draws at the end of the turn, so even if I played the effect first, I wouldn't have gotten this a Venom Mall before I played the Shrine. Didn't really make a difference there. So they do go ahead and just replace their hand again. They only gain effects, they only gain it when they evolve followers. That's pretty slow, I think, right? And they need 9. Well, but I guess you activate the 9 effect, you just win the game, right? So I guess that's kind of fair. So, um... I kind of want to save Ignis in case... The main body might actually come in handy for Ignis. We're pretty good on card draw, I think, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it this way. Actually, we're probably just gonna accelerate Ignis next turn anyway, so... Maybe it doesn't really make that much difference here. Just let them uh, settle their uh, side, I guess. See how many evils they can get early on. So they do go for another mulligan here. So far that evil is pretty slow, they've only evolved... They haven't evolved a single thing. So they're still at zero valor. I guess it's called valor. In Japanese, it's called hero battle points, so... Which is, I guess, a lot of... Much more of a mouthful than just valor. So they do have a... Uh, they do have ways to cheat uh, early evils, they just didn't draw them in time. Okay, understood, understood. I'm learning, see, I'm learning. Dragon Hunt. And Spur is 4 cost though, so like... It's a bit gross, isn't it? Oh, we're gonna go ahead and ramp here. And the snow should pick up Jerry. Yeah, it does pick up Jerry, and then we're just gonna go ahead and get a draw as well. Got another Jerry, we can just discard that later on. And we are ready for Mizuchi as well. We're probably just gonna save Mizuchi for next turn though. There's their Holy Kitty, so they are gonna get some evils here. This will evolve next turn as well. Oh, it's another evil from them. That's pretty cool. We're gonna trade the Blooming Dancer here, right? Yeah.
That's fine. We're just gonna go ahead and play our Jerry here. Uh, we can probably just save Jerry's spell as well and just go for a big Mizuchi turn next turn. I think that's fine. I can probably kill them faster than they can kill me is my guess. Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and play Jerry here, of course. Uh, pick up the Mizuchi spell as well. Just count our hand. Yeah, we're gonna overdraw here, so we do have to play something. Uh, I guess we can only play Mizuchi's card because we overdraw no matter what else we play. It's a bit of a shame. Oh well. That's fine. Let me evolve Jerry here. Great. Uh, not really any reason to play any of these. Let's just pass. Oh, we're gonna mill Mizuchi actually. I should not have passed there. That was a misplay. I should have played Great Testimony, I think. Oh well. We can always do work. We can always uh work on go for a turn. Uh, I guess lethal next turn instead of this turn, trying to get it this turn. Probably fine. We can play another Jerry. Enough unfortunate that we just wasted the. Uh. Hmm. Skill issue, I guess. I don't really know if I had a way to reduce my hand size, though. I guess I could have played Great Testimony. Oh, should be fine, probably. Question mark. We're actually kind of missing, uh. Some storm damage. I think we do have a Dragon Breeder which we can use to buff followers, but without a storm card to make use of it, it's not that useful. We unfortunately mill the spell. That the fine top deck to mill. I'm gonna play Great Testimony I hear. I think it's fine. We can play we can play this Jerry as well. We'll just go ahead and evolve it, pick out another Great Testimony which we can use for Mizushi's spell next turn. Alright, let's come this time. So, um, in order to not overdraw... Oh, I didn't need to trade it, that was a mistake. Oopsie. Oh well. Uh, let's just toss the Venom more. it's way too expensive to ever get to play it anyway. And, uh... Use All Guide Worm to trade in Skilled Stampede for something else, or we can just pop one of their amulets. Hmm... I want to use the All Guide Worm here. We actually want to use the Alkite Worm here. Just draw into our deck. That we draw. Ugh. We don't really need Draza, so let's get rid of that. This is fine. We don't have. Well, we do have Storm. Oh. What we. Hmm. Let's do this actually. And try to look for lethal next turn. Need to discount Genesis Dragon though. Uh, we might fail to get the buff on Genesis Dragon. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll let them uh, settle their own turn first, then we'll worry about ours. Probably gonna trade both into Mirror Bane here if I'm I would imagine. Actually if they don't give me a if they don't give me a target for great testimony, I can use it to deal damage to their face, so that's good for them, I guess. They do do that. Okay, makes sense. But I think we always start with hunt. If we do this, Genesis Dragon is guaranteed to be this to discount uh We can guarantee play Genesis Dragon next turn. Um I think it's idol search here. We kind of want to get the tree, but I don't think there's a way to get the tree here. Let's just go ahead and Well Yeah, we can't unfortunately Dragon Genesis Dragon cost too much. We can actually no wait, we can use second advent of omens as well. Uh, 
Uh, I think this is actually worth more uh, damage if I do it this way somehow. Somehow this is probably actually worth more. So let's go ahead and title search here. And then we can go ahead and play Genesis. I just evolved to get uh, the stats spread out, I guess. Them in the face. Uh, this doesn't do anything, so let's just save that. We can uh, go ahead and discard a card to deal a bit more damage here. Not quite lethal, but uh, it's a lot of damage on their face. And try to look for lethal next turn. Another divine wolves from them, so they're probably gonna use it to heal, I imagine. They are almost able to use this. Even they can recover all their evil points, but they're not missing any, so I guess that's that. We might die to apostle next turn. We'll probably die to apostle next turn if uh, we don't try to play around that. They are leaving that bar empty to make sure that we can't great test them only them, so I guess they have they are playing well there. Also denies a trait target for Masamune's effect, which is also very unfortunate. Ramiao? Oh that's a tr That's actually a target for us. We actually do want that. And it can't be destroyed by effects, right? Oh no, she can be destroyed by effects. Ah, okay, worth noting. The title search here. Uh, I mean, there probably is lethal somewhere. Let's start with a scale bound plight. There's no reason not to go for this. Let's toss the Kyrie. Dragon Queen's Castle. Uh, we can actually do this. So we go ahead and fuse the Dragon Queens here. And this will summon a big follower for us. And the big follower's job is actually just to activate Gary's effect. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and play Masamune as well. Now Tidal Search will give us the extra damage. This is just maximizing damage. That's like... Not actually... It's not actually necessary to go this far. And then we can play Great Testimony. And hit them in the face. If we can Dragon's Hand Spur as well. Uh, so yeah, we definitely have a lot of damage here. So let's move on to the next game. So I lied a bit when I said move on to the next game, as it turns out I don't really have time to uh, play through all of the five games live. Um, anyway, um, the video will end up being really long if I play through all three games, like, it will probably be like a 15 minute video, so uh, hopefully three games is enough. I mean, we got to see... Well, you got to see me going in blind into trying to play these uh, this new format. This deck, uh, the Jerry deck, is actually pretty fun. Uh, it's probably the best uh, Jerry deck that's ever existed in the history of Jerry Dragon. Yeah, um, I'm really, I do really enjoy this format, so I'm definitely gonna be playing it more, and uh, I'll definitely make more videos on it, and maybe I'll stream it at some point as well. But yeah, that's it for today's video. My first look into uh, this format with Jerry Dragon, pretty fun deck. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for today. See you next video. Bye bye.